we will see clustering using representatives commonly known as a cure algorithm for big data analytics before working with cure which means clustering we have to first see what does clustering mean clustering is classification of objects into groups and implementation of clustering is done using partitioning or hierarchical techniques now let's see what is partitioning or a hierarchical technique by partitioning we mean that we start what when with one big cluster and then we partition the cluster step by step to reach the number of clusters we want or to the required data that we need whereas in case of hierarchical clustering we start with a single cluster and then with its requirement with its uniqueness and with the need how we cluster them together we merge them step by step we see it over here there are different bits over here and we are clustering them together partitioning them and then clustering them together now clustering uses two approaches that is one is known as a centroid based approach and the second one is an all point approach in the centroid based approach we find out the mean of the distances and then we group them as a cluster whereas in a all point approach we find the minimum distances and then we cluster them together so this is how the centroid based approach and all point approach works for forming a cluster now this is a simple example which shows partitional and the hierarchical approach for clustering we can see that the similar type it is partitioning on the similar colors and then it is forming a clusters over here whereas in case of hierarchical it just takes single bits and then keep joining them by using the dmin algorithm now the disadvantage of a traditional clustering is if you'd seen in the previous slide it always forms a spherical shape of a cluster the clusters usually are formed of similar sizes and the one main important thing is there's a poor handling of outliers over here now what do you mean by the term outliers is in a clustering based approach when we are forming a cluster if there is a single data which lies a little away from the data where we are forming a cluster so that particular is an outlier so in a simple clustering approach outliers are neglected or we don't do anything with it so here we see what we do with the outliers in the cure cure implements between the centroid and all point techniques it usually works with an euclidean method to find out the center point and how the points will be placed in a cluster it has a predefined representative points and it works well with outliers which was a disadvantage of the other clustering approach and it shrinks the cluster with a factor of a that is whatever is a euclidean distance that we calculate with that it shrinks the cluster now this is the cure architecture which we have to follow what happens is the data comes in and the raw random sample is created from the raw sample raw sample of random numbers we partition those samples that is also done randomly and then partially clustered or partitioned now when we cluster them together after we have clustered the uh, with partitioning when we cluster them together then we eliminate the outliers and after eliminating the outliers we again create a partial cluster after the part partial clusters are created we write the label data onto the disk and finally the clusters are formed this is the architectural flow diagram for cure now let's see how does cure actually work for each cluster c well defined scattered points within the cluster are chosen and then shrinking them towards the mean of the cluster by the fraction of alpha that is we find the euclidean distance and then we shrink them together the distance between the two clusters and then the distance between the closest pair of representative points from each cluster that we'll see over here that how it is the closest point if i take an example over here if i have this bit which i am creating and let's say this particular is my centroid over here and this is another cluster and this is the centroid if these two points are the minimum points over here then 
this will be formed together two clusters will be joined together into a single cluster and these two representatives will be joining together and that particular point again will be formed as a representative point the c representative point attempts to capture the physical shape and the geometry of the cluster this is how we've seen how the geometry of the cluster is taken shrinking the scattered points towards the mean gets rid of the surface abnormalities and decrease the effect of outliners now what can be an outliner over here is suppose this is a cluster if i form another cluster if you see over here and this is the representative point for this cluster this is another cluster which is formed and it has a point over here this is one cluster and this is the second cluster this is a far off point which is known as an outlier so when i take a minimum distance between the two i combine these two i found out this as an outlier and i eliminate this outlier how this is eliminated we'll see later but this is a simple example of that this is how it decreases the effect of outlier over here this is my cluster algorithm which says that i have a data over here raw data over here with which i found a cluster here i have found a partitioning with this partitioning i have created two representative points over here with these two representative points we've clubbed them together found out the minimum distance between the two over here this is an outlier which has been removed and the cluster is formed now what is random sampling the random sampling are considered as input to an algorithm random sampling is fitted in the memory and random samples are generated very very fast so what happens is if this is my cluster this is a random sample which is generated now what is a partitioning sample random samples are created as you've seen partitioning helps to speed up your algorithm the steps followed are partition the data points into different partitions so what happens is if i have this over here so far segregated like this then what do i do i have to partition this data points together so what i can do whatever is nearing over here i can create it as one i can create this as second cluster i can create maybe this as a third cluster the advantage of partitioning is the input is to reduce the execution time as i create the cluster the next time when i do it iteratively it will help me reduce the execution time because i don't have to then identify more items i have these items clustered together and each n by p group of points fits in the main memory which increases my performance for partial clustering now this is hierarchical clustering what happens in hierarchical clustering i just club them together over here the data items are clubbed together and what is hierarchical clustering means a constant number of c of well scattered points in a cluster are taken as representative the points are shrunk towards the mean of the cluster by the fraction alpha and outliers are away from the mean of the cluster so affects the clustering outliers can be easily removed this is how it is there we club them together this is a simple example of hierarchical clustering this is a sample of data which is given to us three clusters with the representative points is given these are the three clusters which are formed we see that this is the minimum point between the two representative points hence they are clubbed together here a new cluster is formed with the two representative points and representative points are usually pushed to the corners later on and then this is where the outliers are removed as the distance is more now the clusters with the closest pair of representative are clusters and merged at each step that we saw on the previous slide the process of choosing c becomes slow as the number of points in the cluster increases the new points are scattered to the boundaries now next point is how to handle the outliers the random sampling filters out the majority of outliers you've seen as we were clubbing we have reduced the outliers outliers due to the larger distance from the point turns tends to merge with other points and it grows slower suppose i have a cluster formed here 
and there is a point which is over here. I form this as one cluster. But then what happens when I have to do sampling? It increases my time. So what is our main aim? Is if there is another clustering existing over here. Then we merge these two by calculating. Let's say if this was my representative point and this was my representative points. We find the minimum distance with Euclidean. And then what happens? We merge them together and we split it over here. We merge them together together like this and then this outlier is removed. The clusters which grow slowly are identified and eliminated and are also very small clusters. So as I eliminate my processing becomes faster. See this is a simple example which is given over here. This is one cluster, this is second cluster, this one is the outlier. So as a result I can combine these two together over here and form one cluster. Now labeling of data. The process of sampling initial data sets, the data points are assigned. Each cluster is created using a representative. Merging the two representative points and data is written onto the disk. Now to summarize it all, Cure can detect clusters of non-spherical shapes. This is the most important thing we have to remember with variation of size with the representative points for each cluster. Good execution time with large database and sets using the random sampling and partitioning methods. To find out the distance, it uses a Euclidean method and it works well with outliers as we have seen, which are detected and merged. Outliers are merged if it helps me to create a cluster if it is near to some other cluster. Otherwise, it is always better to eliminate the outlier. This is how my cure works. Thank you.